We're here today to do a little product demo and demonstration of the hook grip belts. So, as you might know, these are belts that are made in Russia. Um, this belt company has been making belts for a long time. And uh, this video has nothing to do with actual weightlifting content, so if you're here for slow-mo videos, just uh, skip this one. We're also doing this because we want to test out our new 4K recorder, so this video is in 4K because we're going to be using this at the World Championships, so we want to know what we're doing. Okay, so first things first, the belt on the bottom, that's my belt. Um, I labeled it as such just to make sure no one would sell it at our Spartakiad booth by accident. Um, the belt on the top is a new belt, same size. So first thing, if you see this, pretty easy, easy to flex. Um, has a lot of bend to it. Uh, we designed it that way on purpose, um, basically because it doesn't pinch you at the bottom of a squat or the bottom of a clean. So you can see you can do that. With this one, I can't get the same amount of bend at all, because it's, I mean, this one I can do easily. This one, I can't close it with one hand. So i probably close it with two. It depends how strong your grip strength is. but. The point is, is that this belt is not broken in yet. So when you get a new hooker belt, it's going to be more like this. I would say it ends up like this after maybe 10 to 15 sessions. It just takes a bit of time. The leather needs time to break in. I just want to show a couple features that some people might not know about. These are called Chicago screws. And they are actually, there's a hole with a thread in this end of it. And this end, it's basically just like a screw. So that actually holds on the flat. Um, it's pretty easy, so I'll just show you what you do is you just can unscrew these. Now all three are removed. As you can see, this is how the Chicago screws go together. There's two pieces like this. They screw together like this. So right now my belt's disassembled, and as you can see, I have the flap, I have my three Chicago screws, and I have the actual belt. So let's say I wanted to actually take off one of these. I could just remove this from here. I could slide this off, and I could put the belt back together without it. Some people might like it more one way or the other, and we made this, or they make this um, with Chicago screws just so um, you can customize that. So let's say you wanted to put it back together, you'd obviously just put this back in here, flip this back over, and then assuming, assuming that you're going to leave this out, uh, then you would put the flap back on, sorry, flap back on, and then you would um, screw it back together. Now another thing you could do is you could actually leave this flap off. Um, I know of several people who have written to me and told me that they liked it better without the flap. Um, the flap's kind of meant to stop the belt from getting caught in your t-shirt. You could even take out this belt loop um, from, the, from the end and you could slide it into here and then uh, put it back together like so and just have one loop that's locked in uh, close to the, the belt buckle. So just to show the reassembly process, um, first of all you want to put this on first, put this through. Move this, uh, move this over, and then um, you're basically ready to go. You want to slide this into here, assuming you want to have two in here. It doesn't work so well with two outside of it. Um, and so then you're pretty much ready to go. So you have this here, and you put this back on, assuming you want the, um, the leather flap. Another thing, too, if these ever loosen on you, which they might, um, they are screws, they can, they can loosen over time. What you can do is you can go to Home Depot and you can grab something called Loctite Thread Locker. Um, just put a little bit onto the thread and it should stay in there. Um, there's different types of Loctite. There's blue, there's red, there's probably some other ones. There's, I think there's some other options too for thread lockers. But um, something like red, you're never, or not never, but you're going to have some trouble getting it apart. Um, 
So I would probably recommend using something like Loctite Blue. These aren't placed under that much stress. So basically the easiest thing to do would probably be to put the three with the holes in them like this. Try to line up those holes. Drop these in. So this is obviously reassembly without flap. With the flap, you would just put the flap on. So anyway, that's pretty much it, just to show you a little bit about our belts. And we'll be doing some more of these videos to show some of the other features of some of our other products in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully the 4K looks okay.